biomolecules. Biomolecules are those molecules of which all the living organisms around us are composed of. How to analyze chemical compounds? These biomolecules, they are nothing but chemical compounds which consist or which form certain essential elements compounds which leads to formation of V, the living organisms. How to analyze these chemical compounds? What we can do? We can take the living tissue, grind it in pestle mortar with trichloroacetic acid, then can make a slurry of it, then we can filter this slurry and perform a series of chemical tests to understand the chemical composition and the nature of chemical compounds. We can also use analytical techniques. These analytical techniques, they not only reveal the kind of chemical compound, but it also tells us about the molecular formula as well as the probable structure of that chemical compound. We can also use a destructive method in which the living tissue is dried after drying it's burnt and the ash so collected is further run through a series of tests to understand what chemical compounds are present upon the analysis or upon the studies or the test we have categorized that there are majorly amino acids lipids carbon compounds nucleotides and nucleosides present in or for the composition of living beings. Amino acids, these are the group of chemical compounds who have same amino group as well as acid group on the terminal carbon. Amino acids, when they are linked through peptide bonds forms proteins, the basic structural component of living organisms lipids. These are water insoluble. They consist of fatty acid plus glycerol. Carbon compounds. Carbon compounds includes carbohydrates. Carbon compounds when a heterocyclic ring is attached, they give us nucleosides. With this heterocyclic ring, when a sugar moiety is attached, it gives us nucleosides. And when to this sugar moiety, an esterified phosphate group is attached, it gives us nucleotides. You can see in various type of amino acids in the diagram, various kind of lipids in the diagram, carbon compounds in the diagram, nucleosides and nucleotides as well. Primary and secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites are the metabolites which are found when any living organism's tissue is analyzed. Primary metabolites are found in abundance as their function. Proteins, amino acids, carbon compounds, nucleotides, etc. are primary metabolites. So when we say amino acids, we know its function. Synthesis of protein. So in case of primary metabolite, they are not only present in abundance, their function is also known. But in case of secondary metabolites, these are extracted from fungal cells, plant tissues, etc. And their example could be flavonoids, gums, scents, alkanoids, etc. And their function is not. We may know the function of two or three secondary metabolites, but we don't know the function of all the secondary metabolites. Biomacromolecules. Any biomolecule whose weight is less than 1000 Dalton is known as biomicromolecule and all the biomolecules who are acid insoluble fraction are known as biomacromolecules. They are basically responsible for the chemical composition of cell. Lipids also come in this biomacromolecules because uh, when we break down the cell 
they the lipids get extracted in the form of vesicles and hence they come in acid insoluble fraction you can see in the table the average composition of cell is given water is found to be the most abundant then proteins carbohydrates nu lipids nucleic acid and ions the percentage is given in the table